Well, hello again from Kingston. As you can see behind me, there's been a lot of work on Highway 15 this week. Um, and there are lots of other things going on too. So without further delay, let's go and have a look. This week has seen further preparations for the departure of the two major cranes. Over a three-day period, Bridget has been stripped down to her major component parts. The process began as we've seen before, with her boom being laid on the ground. The blocks, cables and many pulleys are then removed. At this stage, she's still mobile, but by Thursday, sections of her boom had begun to be removed and most of her ballast weights lay off to one side. Removal of the front weights came next. By Friday, she had shed her tracks and boom sections were being rearranged, presumably for transport. Setting up a total station indicated the commencement of greater operations on the roadway. In the hands of a highly skilled operator, this machine creates a much more level, even roadway in accordance with requirements. The white object at the top of the arm attached to the grader blade refers to the total station and guides the grader blade. Black and McDonald were busy this week installing the bases for lamp posts that will occupy the median of the new roadway. The initial excavation work was followed up with the placement of a sonar tube, followed by the insertion of reinforcing rod, before backfilling began with a clear emphasis on precise placement of the assembly. By Thursday, this lamp base and four more had been concreted in and consolidated. After the main rush of traffic on Tuesday morning, the normal flow of traffic on Highway 15 was interrupted by one-way operation to allow further work on the installation of essential services. Both a rock breaker and a heavy excavator were involved in the work. which included extending a trench into the grounds of the library. By Friday afternoon though, work on Highway 15 was close to complete. Precision and accuracy are hallmarks of this project and you regularly see surveyors or other people taking measurements. Every aspect of every phase of work is checked and rechecked. On the west side of the bridge, although preparations were evident, the Gamaco machine did not run this week, perhaps because of weather. But forms that will contain the concrete for the northern guardrail appeared ready for use. The painstaking work to install rebar in and around the west abutment continues. Elsewhere along the bridge, following the placement of concrete slabs, temporary guardrails are being installed. On Friday, all the way along the bridge at span 14, drainage pipe was being lowered into place. Looking around, it's clear there's still a great deal of work to be done, and deliveries of concrete vaults and pipes continue. Bridget's departure must be imminent, and that will allow the second crane to be disassembled. But that's all in the future. It's time for wildlife.
wraps up another week. So if you enjoy these videos, you want to see more, please consider subscribing. In the meantime, till next week, stay safe. Bye for now.